Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this tractor for the Barnyard series. You could always use buttons for the wheels if you'd prefer. Now I'll be using 8-ply wool today, which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got green for my main colour, yellow for the contrast and black for the wheels. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together, a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave it together and scissors. Now we'll start on the body. So using my main colour, I work 24 chain. Now I miss the first two chain and I work one half double crochet into each of the remaining chain. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet we put our yarn around the hook and then we put our hook into the third stitch from our hook. And that stitch there and then we bring up a loop pull a loop through with our hook, put our yarn around the hook and then we're going to take our hook with this yarn through the three loops on the hook and that's a half double crochet. So yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. So we continue like that into each of our chain to the end. And that's the first row done. For row two we start with two chain and we turn our work over and we work one half double crochet into each stitch. Our first stitch is this, this one in here. Just work into each stitch.
Now our last stitch is just in here at the end. And that's our second row done. Now rows three to five are work the same as row two. So two chain and turn our work over and then work one half double crochet into each stitch across. So I'll continue on and I'll work to the end of row five and I'll be back. Now that's my five rows done. Now we're going to do a neatening row all the way around the body. So we start with one chain and we're going to work single crochet into each stitch. A single crochet is a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, put our yarn around and take our hook with our yarn through the two loops. Now we just find a suitable place to put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around our hook and through the two. Sometimes it can be a bit hard to find a good spot to put your hook in for your next stitch. So we just work down the side When we get to the corner stitch we work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. That just makes a bit better corner. And then work along the bottom. I'm crocheting in my tail so I'm holding it to the back and then just crocheting over it. And I work a single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. I'll just snip that tail off now. And then just continue one single crochet into each stitch along to the corner. And into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain 
and one single crochet. And then I work up the side one single crochet into each stitch and then into the corner stitch I'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and one single crochet along the top. So I'll work along to the finish and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row I work a single crochet into the same stitch as the first stitch, work one chain and slip stitch into the first stitch. First slip stitch I put my hook into the stitch and bring up a loop and then take it straight through the loop on my hook and then I fasten off. And that's the body done. Now I'll start on this front cab piece so I join my wool 13 stitches from the front. In this stitch here. So I just pull a loop through that stitch and I've got a tail at the back. So I hold the tail and I work 9 chain. Now I miss the first chain and I'm going to work one single crochet into each remaining chain. So a single crochet you put your hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around and take your hook with the yarn through the two loops. So we work one single crochet into each of our chain. wool splitting a little bit. And then we slip stitch into the next stitch along the body. So we put our hook in and bring up a loop and take it straight through the loop on our hook and fasten off. And that's the first cab piece done. For this back cab piece we join our wool the second last stitch and we work 9 chain we miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain. And then we slip stitch into the last stitch on the body.
and pass one off. Now for the middle section, we join in the fourth stitch from our front section. So this stitch here, and we work eight chain. And we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. And then slip stitch into the next stitch on the body and fasten off. I might just weave in my ends because it will make it easier and we'll be back and we'll put the roof on. Now I've finished off my ends. Now for the roof, using my main colour, I start with two chain and then I work two single crochet into the top of the front cab section. Just up in there. It can be a bit difficult to find a spot to do your single crochet. And then I work three chain and work two single crochet into the top of the middle cab section. And then work three chain and work two single crochet into the top of the back cab section. And then I work three chain. For row two, I miss the first chain and I work a single crochet into the other two chain. I turn my work and I work a single crochet into the top of the two single crochet from the previous row. And then a single crochet into each of the chain. A single crochet into each of the single crochet at the top of the middle cab
and then a single crochet into each of the chain. A single crochet into each of the two single crochet in the top of the front of the cab and then a single crochet into each of the last two chain. And then we fasten off. And that's the first part of the roof. We'll put a row of contrast now. For the last row of the roof, we join our contrast colour in our first stitch. And work two chain. And we work a half double crochet into the same place as our chain. For a half double crochet we put our yarn around our hook, our hook into the same stitch as our chain and bring up a loop, yarn around and through all the loops. So we work a half double crochet into each stitch across. And we fasten off. Now I'll start on the back wheel now. If you find it too hard, you could always use a button. Now we make a magic loop. For a magic loop, I put my hook on my yarn. I bring the short end over the top and then take my long end over the short end and I've got a circle and then I put the long end of my yarn, my yarn around the hook and bring it through and that's my magic loop. Now I make one chain and I'm going to work six single crochet into the circle. Then I take hold of the end and I just pull it in and ease the circle tight 
and then I work a slip stitch into the top of my first single crochet. So just in there. And I fasten off. And that's just the little centre part. I'll weave in those ends because it will make it easier to do this next section. Now for this next section, I join my yarn into any stitch on the first section. And I work one chain and then I work two half double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work one half double crochet into the same stitch as the chain. And then two half double crochet into each of the other stitches. And then I work a half double crochet into the first stitch and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the second part done. I'll weave in that end and I'll be back and we'll do this last section. For the last section we join our black anywhere on the wheel. And work two chain. Then we work a double crochet into the same stitch as a chain. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, we put our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn through the other two loops and that's a double crochet. Now we're going to work two double crochet into each stitch around the wheel.
At the end of the row I work a double crochet in the same stitch as the first chain and double crochet and slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the big wheel done. For the small wheel we make a magic loop and work one chain and four single crochet into our circle. We pull the circle tight and we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in these ends so they don't get in the way. For this second row we join our yarn in any stitch on our circle. and work one chain, work a half double crochet into the same stitch as the chain and then work two half double crochet into each stitch around Then we work a half double crochet into the same stitch as our first chain and half double crochet and slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in that end and I'll be back and we'll do the last row. For the last row, using my black, I join on any stitch. And start with two chain. And work one double crochet into the same stitch as the chain. and then work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll just continue around this wheel and I'll be back when I'm almost at the end. At the end of the row we work a double crochet in the same stitch as our first chain and double crochet and slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off.
and that's a small wheel. For this trim, using the contrast colour, we start with 13 chain. We miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain. and fasten off. And that's the trim done. Now for the stack, I go back seven stitches from the front, and stitch here, and I join my black wool. and work seven chain I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain I slip stitch into the next stitch on the body and fasten off. And that's the stack done. Now for the steering wheel it's a little bit tricky. I join my wool into the corner at the bottom of the first cab piece and I work two chain. Now I pull my loop a little bit loose and I fasten off. I leave a bit of a tail and that's the first little bit of the steering wheel, this little piece here. Now for the second piece I join in the third stitch from the cab, so the second from the steering wheel piece. And I work two chain and now I'm going to work a chain through my loop from the first steering wheel piece. So I put my hook into the loop and bring it through the loop and through 
the loop on my hook and then I pull the loop tight and then I work two more chain and I slip stitch into the side of the cab just I've left about two or three stitches there and I slip stitch into there and fasten off and that's the steering wheel done now for the light I join my yellow cotton three stitches down from the top here so it'll be this stitch here and I work one chain and three single crochet into that same stitch and fasten off and that's all the crocheting done I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll attach the wheels and the trim now there's all my pieces the first thing I do is attach the large wheel it goes about there it goes further back than the back of the tractor and I'll also stitch on the small wheel I leave a bit of a gap and I try to get them even but I'm not so good at getting things even so it will go about there I'll stitch those on and I'll be back the wheels are on next I just attach the trim, the flat part goes at the front and just along there so I'll attach that and I'll be back and show you the finished tractor and there's the finished tractor if you like my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.